Hey friends, Alan Lee here with The Handyman Journey and today I wanted to talk about how I affix things to the back, uh, the back door of my Ford Transit van. This has been a really uh, big question. Um, if you guys haven't seen, basically th there's windows here at the back of the Ford Transit van. This one here has actually been sealed up. Um, the biggest question is how did I affix something to where that window cavity is? So I wanted to explain a little bit about that and show you guys a little bit more uh, in depth of how I did that. Basically, it's just a piece of three-quarter inch plywood that's cut specifically to fit into that cavity here um, on the door. And then there, there's these little one-inch strips of three-quarter inch plywood on either side, um, on the top, the two sides, and the bottom. And basically, with that one-inch strip, I just, um, just self-tap that into the skin of the door. Um, not into a place where it would protrude out the back of the door, but into the skin of the door. So I had to, um, you know, uh, place those in, in particular places so that it would have enough room in the back of the skin of the door to not protrude out of the outside. So basically this three quarter inch piece of plywood is actually just pinned up against uh, the window cavity. Where the window would be, this, this particular door here does not have a window. It's been sealed from the outside with some sheet metal and repainted and all that. So the three quarter inch piece of plywood is actually not fixed or, or adhered to the door in any way. Um, it's just pinned to the door. So uh, I, I, I found that on a YouTube channel um, where I was watching and I'm like, man, how did he do that? How did he affix that to his window? Um, and so I kind of just came up with my, own op with my own idea. I'm not sure if this is how he did it or not, but I wanted to explain it to you guys because I think it's a really cool system. Three quarter inch plywood fit in there and just pinned to the door uh, with three quarter inch, um, one inch, you know, strips of three quarter inch plywood. Um, with some self tappers. And then another thing that I wanted to talk about here on the back doors of my Ford Transit van is this little door cavity cubby that I built. Um, there's actually a uh, just a, a cheap old cover here because this is kind of where the electronics would be if you had um, you know a wiper, if you had electronic door, you know doors or whatever, whatever. Um, so I took that cover off and I basically put a piece of three quarter inch plywood. I I could have used a quarter inch. I could have used a half inch. I chose three quarter inches because that's what I had on, on hand. Um, and then I cut a nice little hole in here. And basically this side of this door cubby is just shop rags. So we keep rags in here. This is all clean rags. And then in our other door on the other side is where we keep all of our drop cloths. Um, so there's another cubby just like this on the other door. Um, it, it's actually really cool. So it's really functional to have the back door set up like this where I can have three quarter inch plywood up here. You could really store whatever you guys want up here, um, but I built this um, you know, custom caulking storage. I actually built a, made a video about how I built this custom caulking storage. I will link that um, up, in the, up there and then also link it in the description below as well. So you guys could take a look at that. I'm kind of excited about that. I think they turned out really cool. I kind of went back and forth with one of my uh, technicians about what the best way to build that is because I, I didn't want to over engineer it. I wanted to build it super simple but also functional. And I think we accomplished that, so that's pretty cool. Um, so this has been a little video about the back door on my Ford Transit van. If you guys wanna check out the full Ford Transit tour, um, I will put that up there and also in the description below. I would highly recommend you check that out. Um, I'm pretty stoked that we did some really cool stuff with this Ford Transit. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Have a great day, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.